Hi, Bob from Pinegrow here with another tutorial. Lodi are super small animation files that are scalable and can be targeted for manipulation. They are a great way to add movement and micro interactions to your pages. They can be created by a number of different programs including Adobe After Effects and Figma, but there is a lot of them available out there on the web. In this tutorial, I'll first show you how to get Lodi files working on any Pinegrow page as well as highlighting the Lodi files resource for downloading pre-made animations. Then I'll show you how to use Pinegrow interactions to make our Lodi animations respond to page scrolling and user interaction. I've included a link to the project file with both the page without animations or interactions added that you can use to follow along as well as a page with all the animations and interactions added. Let's get started. There are a number of different libraries for rendering Lodi files, including versions for iOS, Android, and Windows. For our pages, we'll be using the web player. This library can be loaded onto any HTML page, and in this case, we'll be using a simple bootstrap for page that I've already created using elements from the block library loaded onto the page. The web player library can be obtained from a number of sources, but we're going to be using the version hosted by cdnjs.com. I have a link to this uh, within the tutorial or below the video. So after navigating to cdnjs.com, you can do a search up here for Body Movin, which is the, uh, the After Effects plugin um, for using uh, these Lodi uh, files. We're going to go ahead and just take the lodi.min.js file. And the way that we can bring this into our page is by clicking the center icon to the right of the uh, file name. This will copy the script tag to our clipboard. Now if we navigate back over to our pre-made page and then go to our library panel, we can open up this insert code, go ahead and paste that, and then we can go ahead and drag that right over into either the head or the um, body of the page. And we're just going to add it after jQuery and everything else for Bootstrap has been brought in. And that's all you have to do in order to get the basic Lodi player functionality. So at this point, we could create our own custom animations. Like I said, uh, you can create them with programs like Adobe After Effects, as well as Figma, some other programs out there. But there's also a wealth of free Lodi files uh, available on the internet. One great site for these is lodifiles.com, and again, the link is posted. Uh, so if we just navigate there, um, what we can see is that once we're logged in, so you will have to create a, um, a uh, you will have to sign up for an account, but uh, under Discover, we can then see that they have uh, not only free animations, uh, but also more premium Lodi animation to purchase, and you can hire animators if you want a custom uh, animation done for you. So for now, we're just going to navigate to the free animation. So for this project, I've already downloaded a number of different animation files, uh, but I'll just show you really quickly how we can do this with one of them. So I got one of the animations from Orbit Studio. So if we type that into the type that into the uh, finder. I actually downloaded uh, this guy right here for the Chinese New Year, uh, the Year of the Ox. So if we click on that, we can see that it brings up this, this panel. Within this panel, we can do a couple of things. We could change the background color if we wanted to. So we can make the background red, put in any custom color we want. We could change the animation speed if we decided that that was moving too slowly. Um, we could increase the speed and we can also choose to host the uh, Lodi animation if we want using this built in your URL, just copy it to our keyboard, uh, excuse me, clipboard and place it wherever we want. Uh, if you look down here, you can also um, use uh, or, or get code to easily use this. Uh, animation either on a web page, uh, using Elementor, Webflow, 
um, iOS or, or Android. It also allows you to add some degree of interactivity on some of these. But for the purposes of this tutorial, all we're going to do is just leave the base animation alone. We'll take that back down to, if we can, to 1x. Whoops. Um, and then we're just going to download the JSON file. So uh, depending on what options the artist has put onto their file, uh, you might have more um, uh, selections than just these four. But for this, we're going to download the Lodi, uh, the actual Lodi JSON, fi JSON file uh, just by clicking there. You'll get your normal file chooser um, then at, at that point. All right, so again, any of the files can be downloaded in this way. Uh, the only other thing that can be important to note here from this uh, animation is that it's 150 frames long. So sometimes you want to stop or start an animation at a, at a particular point, uh, and it's just good to know what the length is. And you can actually figure that out uh, once you load your, your Lodi file in. So the other thing that I uh, just really quickly want to point out here is you can also put this onto your page as a GIF. We can fight about whether it's called a GIF or a GIF, but at any point, GIF. Uh, if we were to do this and took a look in our uh, file uh, panel, uh, looked at the sizes of the files, uh, we can see one of the big advantages of these Lodi files. So the GIF is about 1.1 meg. Um, so if we look at the uh, size of the JSON file, it's only 100 KB. So 10 times different amount of size. So if you're, you're loading this onto an HTML page, you're passing this over bandwidth, um, that's, that's a pretty big difference, especially if you end up putting uh, a number of these files onto the page. So navigating back over to PineGrow now, um, oops, click over here. Uh, we can start adding these onto the page. So we already have our player down here with the lodi.min.js being hosted at the CDN. Um, and so now uh, we're just going to replace this image in our hero section uh, with our Lodi file. To do this, first we're going to delete this image out. So I'm just going to select it uh, and then go ahead and, and hit the delete. And so now I still have this div here that was uh, encompassing that image, and that's where we're going to put our Lodi into. So to do this now, what we'll do is we'll make sure that that div is selected. We'll go to our properties panel, and we're going to give this a unique ID, and I'm going to give it the ID of Lodi1. So you now see that in our attribute editor, uh, and then... Um, next, to get the animation to display into this div, we have to write a small script. So there are several different ways to accomplish this in PineGrow. You can use an external editor like Visual Studio Code, which is what I do most of the time. You can also click here in the top bar uh, to be able to uh, open up the, the code of the entire page. Uh, but the thing, and, and finally, the other thing that you or one of the other things that you could do is we can get rid of this script uh, and write our script into the insert code box. I find this a bit limiting because it's uh, so small. I find opening the code of the entire page to be a bit distracting. And so sort of a, a hybrid or a better way to do this is to create a new element uh, and then go ahead and instead of opening the code in the top bar, we open it in the uh, element code panel. So I'm just going to go into the insert code, add a couple of, uh, or a uh, paired script tag, and then I'm going to go ahead and, in my case, drag it onto the page. So now we have the script selected. Go ahead up here to our element code. And go ahead and open that up. Give myself some space to write. We're going to... Uh, insert our animation. So the body moving script actually can um, be referred to a couple of different ways. I find it's easiest to refer to it as Lodi. So, okay, so this first uh, line is going to uh, issue a command to the 
um, the library. It's going to take advantage of uh, the load animation function within that. And we're going to go ahead and pass some data into that function. Give myself some writing space again. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell it where we want our script to be placed. And to do that, we pass in a uh, property and a value uh, where the property is container, colon, and then uh, a pointer to our uh, particular container we want to use. Now you can define this container as a variable uh, before you call the loady function. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add it right into uh, this particular script. Okay, and so all I'm saying is that basically I'm using JavaScript and saying look on the page and find the element uh, that has the ID of Lodi1. Uh, and that's where we're going to want to put our animation. So uh, we have more data to pass in. So we separate each of these um, different property values or uh, argument val and value pairs uh, with a comma. So I have a comma after that. Next, the body moving plugin can actually render in a couple of different ways. Um, the most common one really, I think, is SVG Canvas. In my hands, uh, acts a little bit odd. I'm not going to really cover the, the nitty gritty of it right now. So again, we need to, to pass in a pr uh, the uh, parameter we want to change. So in this case, it's renderer, colon, and then the value followed by a comma. So in this case, we're using, uh, we're, we're asking it to put the uh, animation in as an SVG. Next, we're just saying that we want it to play multiple times. We want it to loop through. And so uh, the loop um, parameter can take either true or false. If it's false, it's only gonna play the one time. And we'll see later on with Pine Grove Interactions, we wanna set that to false we can decide how we want it to play. In this case, we're just going to have it play as soon as the uh, user loads the page in and just leave it playing. So we're going to say autoplay true. So again, as soon as it loads it in, it's just going to start playing it. We can also add um, using some of the uh, loady functions, we can add a control panel to it uh, to, uh, with, with controls for, for playing and pausing. Um, and we can also set this to false and then turn it on later uh, with some JavaScript commands. Uh, and that's basically what Interactions does. Uh, but we could also write that JavaScript uh, by hand and, and have it only play when a certain condition occurs, like a click of a button. And then the last uh, parameter we're going to pass in is the path. Uh, and that parameter just points to where the particular uh, Lodi uh, animation is located. So if we go over here to our project panel uh, and then look within the assets, I have a folder called Lodi and that's got a whole bunch of different uh, Lodi uh, animations. And so the one that I'm going to load in is, is cow.json. So I know a cow is not an ox and an ox is not a cow. I'm a farmer, but nonetheless, that's what I need. So that's, that's our entire script right there. Uh, so now at this point, in order to get that load in, to load in, we'll probably have to refresh the current page view. And there we have our happy little, happy little ox welcoming in the uh, new year. Um, just to note, um, if that's distracting to you, you can turn JavaScript off. Um, but uh, if you have JavaScript on, uh, PineGrow will start animating that right away. All right, we have our first animation in place. So to place additional animation files on our page, we just have to follow the same steps of downloading a JSON file to our project, giving an ID to a section where we want the animation displayed, and then placing the same script with appropriate changes onto the page. So in the next section down, we'll select the SVG located over here to the left. Go back to our tree panel, you can see it's selected here. We'll go ahead and delete that. And then the column that enclosed it, 
uh, this div with a uh, column large designation in Bootstrap will give a unique ID to by going back to the properties panel, making while it's selected, and putting in a new ID. I'm going to use Lodi2. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, again, add that script with changes to the page. So in this case, we already have a script that pretty much is what we need there on the page. So we'll select that and then we'll go over here to the duplicate. Duplicate. Then we can open this in the code uh, panel here and make our changes. So the first thing we're going to have to change is uh, targeting where we load it. So uh, in this case, we're going to get the element by ID and instead of loady one, we're going to select loady two. Then second, um, uh, we're going to keep all this the same. The second thing we're going to have to do is select which uh, animation we want to play. Um, and so in this case, I selected a spaceship. And so now we've got that changed. And again, go ahead and refresh the page. And we have our rocket ship playing down there uh, in a loop. All right, so, so basically um, that's all you have to do in order to add animations onto the page. For uh, the rest of the page, you'll see that I have a number of other uh, animations here. Um, so basically to change out these SVGs with tiny animations uh, like gears or um, design. Uh, then we also, if we wanted to, could do things like add a heart animation onto our blog post. Uh, and I'm going to show you in the next video uh, how to do that and how to uh, animate that uh, upon button click. So if somebody clicks a like button uh, here for our uh, address, we could add in uh, like this email sent or we could add a location pin in. Uh, and I'll leave that up to you. Uh, to go ahead and add those other in, other uh, animations into the page uh, using straight Lodi. Um, we can already see, uh, just as an aside, like with this top page that, um, you know, maybe we wouldn't want this to loop. Maybe we would want it to go just once uh, on page load. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that you can fool around with, and I encourage you to read up on the uh, body move and script on the web, and I will put a link to the documentation uh, in the tutorial. So I hope that uh, this uh, short tutorial uh, has shown you both uh, the ease with which you can get Lodi animations as well as incorporate them into your Pine Grove pages, uh, and uh, I... Um, we'll see you in the next video.